Okay, so now in order to start up our SAP server, we should go back to our uh, Linux machine and go into the terminal. So I will clear the terminal window and I will type down su uh, l npl a a a d m which, which which stands for npl admin administra administrator so i will sign in or i will act as a npl administrator right now and this is the user which sap uh, during this installation uh, has created so directly inside of the of the linux machine i can get into that uh, user when i am in a npl AD adm all what i will do i will call the command for starting sap server and this is this uh, this is how it's typed so start sap all and hit enter and now the SAP server is starting and firstly it is checking a uh, database. Uh, currently we have installed Sybase IQ database system. So this is how this is also starting up and SAP is doing all the processes in order to start up the whole SAP server. So let's wait for a few seconds until we get the uh, final notification that uh, our server has started and I see that instance on host uh, our host name has already started so great in order to check this if uh, all already all of the processes are running and are uh, available and are active we need to type down uh, this, the following command so uh, there is a sub control command sap control dash nr number zero zero and we will use the function get process list type this way and when i hit enter i get the following description of what processes are working or which, which processes are active and i'm looking for the green value and i see that the display work process is green uh the another process is green uh, GVRD process is green and IC man process is green. So there are four processes. All of them should be green in order to uh, get inside of SAP system. If you would get any other state here, so instead of green, you would find here yellow, uh, then you should just wait for a few seconds and then run this uh, command, once, command one, once more so that uh, you will at the end have all processes green. So congratulations, right now your SAP server is already running. In order to get inside of that SAP server from SAP GUI, we need to install SAP GUI if you don't have it already installed. And then we can get inside, login inside of your SAP system. So in the, watch the, the next lecture, we will install SAP GUI in order to get inside of your SAP system.